Only weeks after graduating from Northwestern University as a theater major, 23-year-old Mark Helgenberger was on her way to New York City, and all because of a phone call. That talent scout from ABC who'd seen Mark act in college had not forgotten about her. Ryan's Hope, ABC's soap opera about an Irish-American family in New York, needed an actress, preferably red-headed, to take over the part of Siobhan, the Ryan's youngest and feistiest daughter. Marg fit the bill and was asked to audition. I got the part that day, actually. I just remember um, the, the uh, executive producer coming, running down the stairs and grabbing by the hand and that was really wonderful. And, and uh, I think they pretty much, it was that, that was it, from what I recall. And, wow, really? <laughs> I'm hired? Ryan's Hope was Mark's first job as a professional actor. Doing a soap taught her how to work fast. Every day there was a new script to learn and no time to search for motivation. If a script said cry, she cried. No questions asked. I mean, there's some people that are amazing. They can just, whoo, they can really, truly cry on cue. It's astonishing. I'm not one of them, but I need to work up to it a little bit. But that sort of gave me the opportunity to, or gave me the, a challenge to, to have a chance to do it more often. Off camera, however, there were lots of laughs. Young, single, and stunning, Marg did her fair share of partying and making the rounds of the New York club scene in the 80s. In 1984, the party girl became a call girl, on Ryan's hope, that is. Marg's character, a policewoman, went undercover as a prostitute in Times Square. To play the owner of the hotel Marg worked out of, the producers hired a young actor named Alan Rosenberg. I remember sitting there in the green room and just wondering, waiting for instructions, and in walked Marg. And I witnessed such beauty that it, well, I swear I took my breath away the first time I saw Marg. I thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen in my life. I remember having a really fun conversation with him. We had a few scenes together, and I always thought that he was cute and fun and sweet, and, but I really didn't get to know him. Alan was only on Ryan's Hope for a few weeks, just one of the many actors who came and went on the long-running show. Not only that, he was married. Still, Alan didn't forget Mark and tried to help her career. My brother at the time was vice president of Warner Brothers Pictures, and they were doing the movie uh, Greystoke, The Legend of Tarzan, and they were having a, a hard time casting the role of James. So I called my brother up, and I said, there's this woman in New York who, who is very beautiful. I think she's really, really talented, and you ought to audition her, and he did. I mean, it was her first big movie audition. Marg lost the part to another up-and-coming actress, Andy McDowell, but at least Ryan's hope kept her gainfully employed. By 1985, she was making enough money to help pay her father's medical bills from his battle with MS. Marg made one of her dad's lifelong dreams come true, a trip to New York. Gosh, we did a grand tour of New York. I remember going to the Trade Towers, in fact. South Street Seaport. It, you know, all the places. It was in a wheelchair because he had multiple sclerosis, so it was kind of hard. When we landed in Omaha, I said, well, here we are, you know, back home. And he said, oh, I had such a wonderful, wonderful time. And I said, but just think how wonderful it would have been had you been well. And he said, I don't think it could have been any better. It was a special time made even more poignant a few months later. In November of 1985, Hugh Helgenberger died. He was only 50. My dad had such a wonderful spirit and always looked out for the other person. Even when he was on his worst days, when he was very ill, he always says, you know, if the sun's not shining on me today, it's shining on somebody else. <laughs> and that was how he was. Inspired by her father's inner strength throughout his illness, Marg regrouped. In 1986, she left Ryan's Hope after three seasons to pursue other opportunities. 